Okay, so in this series of sessions, we are going to discuss profit, loss and discount. Actually, if you understand percentages, then profit, loss and discount is nothing but a specific application. So, it's actually a subset of percentages as such. But it has its own uh, story, nuances and details involved. So, we'll take a very detailed look at it and we look at various kinds of problems also. But an idea that we want to repeat over and over again is that beyond the stories, uh, beyond the logic involved in this specific story, rest of it is all going to be ratio and percentages and of course translating the sentences of the, the problem statements. Okay. Uh, so let's take a very very simple example. Let's say you buy something for 400 rupees. Uh, sorry, 400 rupees and you buy something at 400 rupees and you sell it at 500 rupees right that's a simple enough transaction for most people to understand now when you buy it this buying cost is called the cost price okay or the cp and when you sold it obviously enough this is called the selling price now this difference between the selling price and the cost price in this case which is 100 rupees is called the profit so the profit is sp minus cp in this case the profit is 100 okay which is easy enough now the next term that comes in is what is the profit percentage so profit percentage means profit as a percentage of the cost price remember percentage connects two numbers only so when we're talking about a profit percentage we are connecting the profit and the cost price okay or establishing a relationship between the profit and the cost price in terms of 100 okay so profit percentage is profit upon cp you want to multiply it by 100 in the general form you can do that or i know when i say profit percentage and it's a relationship between p and cp i know i have to put it in the numerator denominator form and my task more often than not will be done okay uh, what the profit percentage is also doing it is also connecting cp and sp because when i add the profit to the cp i get to the sp so if i know this and i know this i will be able to jump to the selling price okay so can I say in this case that the selling price is five uh, is uh, 100 more than the cost price that could be one way of saying it so the profit is 100 the same thing if I want to say it in percentage terms I would say the, the 100 more and percentage terms it would be uh, cost price plus 25 percent of the cost price 100 uh, you finding 100 by 400 essentially so 1 by 4 right and 25 percent so can i say this now i know how to write this in the multiplying factor form this would become 1 by 4 and therefore it would become 5 by 4 cp is that okay yeah <coughs> uh, we can do it in a or uh, we can do it again so the sp was 100 more than the cp of course but in terms of percentages, it was 100 by 400 of CP. So this would become 1 by 4, right? So SP is equal to 5 by 4 of CP, right? Or if I just move the CP here, which means SP by CP is equal to 5 by 4, which once again, I look at the ratio form. So what that means is that once I have the story of CP being 400 and SP being 500, to find out whatever percentage relationship I want to find out between them, just putting them in the numerator denominator form would have been enough. I mean, of course, we learned it later, but I could have just, just done this, right? Now, if I had moved the CP here, I could have very clearly seen that SP is how much more than CP? One fourth of CP more than CP. And one fourth means 25%. And more than CP implies profit. So 25% profit. Yeah, so we'll explore this idea further. Uh, but if you notice that once again, if you have this kind of a relationship, it's just that instead of A and B, you have SP and CP, but otherwise the percentage operation is remaining the same or the fundamental relationship is not changing at all. Okay, stop. Let's try two variations of the same idea. Uh, when I say variation, I mean various kinds of interpretations. Uh, so let's say uh, you bought something at 800 rupees and you want to sell it at a profit of 12.5%. Uh, okay, 
you want to sell it at a profit of 12.5 percent so uh, what should be the selling price so you have 800 obviously you want to increase the price by 12.5 percent right essentially profit means the extra so you want to get to the selling price and this is the extra involved 12.5 percent of 800 so of course you can find that value and and get to the answer or you can use a multiplying factor increase of 12.5 percent means 9 by 8 1 by 8 is 12.5 percent increase of 1 by 8 so 800 into 9 by 8 is 900 so the selling price is 900 rupees okay the reverse or the inverse of this question would be which some people get stumped is let's say there is a profit of 16.66 percent okay i'm dealing with easy numbers only but the focus is on getting the idea through so let's say there is a profit of 16.66 percent and the selling price is given as 700 okay so what is the cost price so this is the profit i know the profit percentage connects the cost price and the selling price with cost price as the base right so cp is the base there's a profit of 16.66 percent that means the cp is obviously being increased by 16.66 percent which means a multiplying factor of 7 by 6 okay this is giving you the sp right cp is increased and you get to the sp because there's a profit here in later cases the cp could decrease also to get to the selling price so the selling price i know here is 700 so this multiplying factor gets turned around once again we've already seen this a lot in, in a lot of previous videos right the flipping of the multiplying factor so cp is 700 into 6 by 7 and uh, so cp is equal to 600 yeah i hope that makes sense Stop. of course uh, huh? there is of course there is sometimes loss also so uh, let's say you buy something for 300 rupees 300 rupees and you sell it for uh, 200 rupees there is a loss of 100 right so loss is also connecting cp and sp so the loss is actually the same as profit in terms of how it is connecting the numbers just that it is in negative so loss is 100 and the loss percentage would be 100 as a percentage of 300 which would be 1 by 3 so you're doing p by cp essentially okay so let's say if i tell you that uh, the cost price is uh, 600 rupees and there is a loss of 16.66 percent so i know cp in loss of 16.66 percent that means the price is getting reduced by 16.66 percent that means i can multiply it by 5 by 6 and this gives me the selling price i know the cp as 600 if i multiply it by 5 by 6 so i get the sp as 500 and a loss of 100 rupees okay so. let's go back to the same i mean example that we've done earlier the cost price is 400 and the selling price is 500 and we worked out that the profit percentage is going to be 100 by 400 which is 25 percent okay but we're introducing a new term here and the term is margin percentage okay or just margin uh, now just the way i mean when we're looking at these two numbers and we're saying the profit percentage connects them the cp is being considered the base right but what number is considered base between two numbers is mostly up to our understanding or our common understanding or our, we decide what number should be taken as a base what if i take the selling price as the base we are dealing with profit only there is a profit of 100 rupees but we are saying what is the relationship of this 100 with the selling price so what i'll do is profit by selling price so i get 100 by instead of 400 like previous time we're doing 100 by 500 so if i look at this profit is one fifth of the selling price right or 20 percent so we get profit is one fifth of the selling price or 20 percent of the selling price so this relationship profit is 20 percent of the selling price this is the margin the relationship between profit and the selling price as the base okay but whenever we have profit percentage by default we can work out by i mean by default we have the margin percentage and whenever we have margin percentage we have the profit percentage okay for example and we've been doing this all along in all our previous questions so for example if i tell you that in a deal there is a profit of 10 percent okay what is the margin now profit of 10 percent means the selling price is 10 percent 
more than the cost price which we don't use at all we straight away do sp is 11 by 10 cp selling price is 10 percent more than the cost price now the question was margin right so margin means i want i want the same relationship with sp as the base so i change this around this becomes 10 by 11 of sp so cp is how much less than selling price in terms of selling price right so if you look at CP is less than SP is because of profit only, right? Or the profit amount only. In, in profit percentage and in margin percentage, the amount being discussed is the same, right? The difference between CP and SP would not change. So here 1 by 11, which means 9.09%. So CP is 9.09%. So there is CP, SP. This distance is 9.09% of SP, right? This distance is the profit and the relationship with the selling price is given. That means is 9.09% is the margin, okay? We could have done the same thing uh, in another way and we practice both the methods. When I say profit is 10%, so I know P by CP is 1 by 10. Is that okay? And uh, when I say margin, what I want is a relationship between P and SP. I know CP is 10 or 10x, P is 1x. So selling price would be cost price plus profit. So this would be 11. And I know profit is 1 only. So this would be 1 by 11, right? So margin is 1 by 11 or 9.09%. Or you could have done this also. Profit by selling price is 1 by 11. Selling price comes here. Profit is 1 by 11 of selling price. Or profit is 9.09 .09 of selling price. Therefore, the margin percent is 9.09%. Okay. So in some places, you will see this is a formula. What you do is, if you want to go from profit to margin, let's say, profit to margin, okay? You take the percentage, I mean reciprocal, let's say you had 25% profit, right? So 25% would be 1 by 4. And the formula would be given, it, given as, just add these two, write it here and shift this here, so you get 1 by 5. So when the profit is 25%, the margin is 20%. Remember, you see the formula, but this is the logic happening. Cost plus profit gives you selling and the profit is just moved there and margin is nothing but profit by selling price. So you get the answer, right? Similarly, if you were to move from, uh, uh, let's say, <coughs> margin to profit percentage and let's say your margin was given as 20%, okay? So 20% is 1 by 5. Now remember, margin means profit by selling price. So the formula i mean let's look at the shortcut first you would just do one by four why because uh, you would subtract why because selling price minus the profit gives you the cost price and the profit remains the same so the profit percentage is one by four or 25 percent. we're doing the same question back and forth okay